What's up? It's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Saturday, so I thought I would do a little weekend in my life vlog. I never really do weekend in my life or weeks in my life, but I'm going to start doing those for you guys um, just so you can see like a few days instead of just one day vlog. It's like late right now. It's 5.30. Um, my sleep schedule has been so off and this happens to me. If I have one night where I just like can't sleep, then it just like ruins like every consecutive day after that. So I haven't even like done anything today. I showered clearly, my hair's wet. Um, and I am not gonna drink any coffee obviously because it will just keep me up at night and I think that will just keep messing up my sleep schedule. So I'm gonna get a matcha from Starbucks and something to eat because I need to go grocery shopping and I don't really have anything right now. So I'm going to go to Starbucks and then I have to go to the mall. I have to return um, these Lululemon training gloves that I bought because I've been doing a lot of like weightlifting and stuff in the gym and so I started using gloves for working out and I got these ones from Lululemon but they are a little big on me because I wasn't able to try them on in store so I actually bought these when I was in Boston if you guys saw I have a Boston vlog up um, I just went back to Boston for a little bit to see my family and friends and it was super nice to be back in Boston but now I'm happy being back in Miami. I'm excited, I'm gonna be doing an Aritzia haul. I just am missing a package, like one of the packages from Aritzia went missing. So I'm hoping they're gonna reimburse me and just send me a new one. But I bought this rack off Amazon and it's so nice, like black metal and it was only about $20, I set it up. And I'm not gonna leave it there just because, you know, I live in a studio apartment, but it's kind of just taking up a lot of space so it's really easy to disassemble you kind of just pull this out so this piece comes off so i'll put that like in the closet but i thought i would get this rack thing to do like hauls and just to be like more of a youtuber i don't know i really want to focus on youtube i definitely like a struggle with being consistent and i think a lot of people can relate but like if you don't feel like your life is perfect, you don't want to like show it. But at the same time, I know people like real and raw things. So yeah, you kind of just have to be, I think, realistic with yourself. Like you're not going to feel good every day. And if you only vlog the days that you feel good, you're probably not going to be vlogging that often. Because I don't think everyone feels 100% about themselves every single day. So yeah, just trying to be a little bit more realistic. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing this aloe yoga crop top. Don't know what this one is called, but I'll link it down below. I have it in a few colors. Um, it's just like a racer back kind of top. And it's really cool. It has a um, built-in sport bra as well. And then I'm wearing these Aritzia biker shorts. These are the atmosphere shorts, which I think now they call them the butter shorts, but they're like that Lululemon aligned material, super soft. And then I have on these Nike shoes. Don't know what these are called, but they're just like leopard print. Um, I'll link them down below too. And I'm also wearing my Ana Luisa ring that I mentioned in my latest vlog. I love this ring and just have on Tiffany necklace and some earrings that I think they're like Kate Spade, but they I just got them from Nordstrom a year ago or so. Um, they weren't like anything special, but they're just like regular studs. So I'm gonna get my stuff together and then we're gonna head out. Okay, also I have tons of boxes that I need to recycle because it's taking up my apartment. So I thought while I'm, <laughs> these are like Uber Eats bags because I've been Uber eating, is that the word? Uber eating? I've been ordering Uber Eats in DoorDash a lot because I just need to go grocery shopping. But I was sick for a little bit after I came back from Boston. So I've just been like buying food on Uber Eats and I need to stop doing that. But yeah, so I just have like a lot of boxes and stuff I want to get rid of on my way out to run errands. Also, I don't know about you guys, but Miami started requiring masks again. So at least in my building. But I'm not sure about like restaurants and stuff if they started requiring them again but now I'm like I was so used to not wearing a mask and now I'm back to bringing it everywhere but I don't know it's just I think Florida right now is like one of the worst states
Starbucks. Blueberry muffin. Underrated. Sweating. Also, there's no good lighting in my apartment at a certain times of the day. The only good time it is to film in my apartment is between like 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Otherwise, the lighting is so backlit like this. Like, I don't know what to do about it. I think it's just because my apartment is on the side facing like where the sun sets and not where it rises. So I don't really have good lighting to film in the mornings, which I wish I did. Maybe in my next apartment, that would be what I base my apartment search on because it really does make such a difference having light pour in in the morning and especially if I'm gonna be like vlogging and filming, like that's really important. So I did my returns and all that, Lululemon and I have you guys on a box right now. And then um, I had to order online the size gloves that I needed because they didn't have them in store so they did an online order for me then I just went into Sephora and picked up some Laneige I got the vanilla because this one's my favorite and I'm not done using my mint chocolate chip wait someone's calling this one is my favorite flavor right now I'm using the mint chocolate chip one I'm not done with it but I just thought I would get this one I was looking at the little tubes that Laneige have it's like a lip balm and I was thinking that would be really good for on the go you don't want to like take this out and put it on your lips it's just kind of germy so i was thinking about getting one of the small little tubes but they don't have the vanilla flavor they had like berry and green apple and i was just like not really into the scents of those ones so yeah anyways got this i also went to dr smooth and got um a cold pressed juice this one has apple celery cucumber spinach ginger and lemon these are my fave green juices and then i also got a cold turkey sandwich that has like avocado it's like a panini so i'm gonna have this for dinner tonight and um yeah we'll see what else i get into
much today. It's 3 p.m. right now. I did show you guys a little bit of my morning though. I got an acai bowl for breakfast and then I went to the gym and did some cardio. Um, if you're wondering what I do, I do cardio maybe two or three days of the week and then the rest I like to do weight training. But when I do cardio, I like to do the stair climber and I usually do that for about 20 minutes. Um, I would do it for longer, but my stair climber machine actually just stops at 20 minutes. It doesn't let you do it longer. I don't know why. And then after that, I usually like to go on the treadmill for like about 10 minutes. I'll do an incline walk for 10 or I'll just like jog for a mile. Um, I just like to get my heart rate up and like get a nice sweat in and then I'll just do some ab exercises after that. So I did that and I came back and showered, got ready and now I'm making a grocery list. So I have to go to Whole Foods and pick up a ton of groceries because I really don't have anything and I think I'm getting bored of like buying the same old stuff. So I need to think of like new meals that I can make or I don't know, just like change up what I'm eating because I've had some stuff in my fridge and it's like fine like it hasn't gone bad yet but I just like don't feel like eating it because I'm just sick and tired of eating it like I don't know if anyone else buys the same stuff at the grocery store every week but I have the habit of doing that so I definitely need to like change up what I'm eating so that I'm not just constantly doing overeats because I feel like that's what I've been doing recently and it's just a lot of money if you really like look at it and calculate how much money you're spending on Uber Eats versus like what that would last you for a week of groceries it, it's pretty ridiculous so really need to think of maybe some new things that i can pick up at the grocery store and i just finished my coffee i don't know if i should have another one i don't know what time do you guys stop drinking coffee during the day i'd like to know because for me i think i stop drinking usually before five like even if it's 4 30 i'll be like oh i'll have a cup but then i, I do think it messes with my sleep schedule so i probably shouldn't um drink another coffee but it's still it's only 3 30 so i might do another one the lighting's so bad right now because it's about to storm but i wanted to show you guys my outfit because i think it's really funny i don't know if this is what i'm wearing to the grocery store i think i'm going to change the bottoms but i have on these like sweat shorts and then like these shoes like <laughs> this is the most meg outfit ever um but I'm probably going to wear this shirt. This is from Aritzia. It's supposed to be in my Aritzia haul. I just keep wearing everything, though, that I'm supposed to show in the haul. But I do have another package coming. So I guess you guys will see some new things in that haul. And um, these shorts are from Black Bow. I worked with them in a collab a few months ago. They're just like little sweat shorts. And then I have on my Steve Madden slides. These are just like the Yeezy dupe Steve Madden slides. So comfortable, honestly. I want to wear these out, but I don't really wear them out. I kind of just wear them around my apartment building and like to the car, but I haven't worn them out in public yet. And I'm not saying it's like weird to wear them out in public because I've seen many people wear them out in public, but I feel like just these pink ones are kind of like a little bit extra. Um, but this outfit is just extra. I'm just going to change the shorts and the shoes. Also, I'm putting on a zit sticker. Um, I just have like this random little white head on my shoulder. So I'm assuming it will work the same as it would on my face, but I'm just using these Mighty Patches. And this one comes with the nighttime ones and then the daytime ones. The daytime ones are supposed to be clear so that you can't see them. So I guess I'll put those ones on. I don't know which one. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, I just put that on there. I usually don't break out on my body, but maybe it's from my spray tan. Oh, it's probably from my spray tan. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have a spray tan. It's a little splotchy now because it's been like, if it's just because of the spray tan. So I think that's probably why I have it, but we'll see um, if it works. Hi, so this is my first time vlogging in my new car. Um, I didn't tell anyone, but I got a new car. And I got the BMW 4 Series 430 Grand Coupe. Um, if you guys care, probably probably not, but like I'm excited about it because I have always wanted a BMW and nothing was wrong with my old car. I just was gonna trade it in and then buy this car for myself. So, so um, that's what I did. If you guys noticed, it looks different and I really love my new car. So we'll see if there's a good vlogging. Um, for my camera there's King Bond but um yeah okay I'm gonna go drive to the grocery store now back in 2015 
foods. I just get so overwhelmed. I'm not like a huge cook and I don't really like to take time to like cook. I like easy, simple, healthy things. Show you guys what I got anyways. I'm actually gonna lay out all the groceries and then just show you guys with my camera. Okay, so here's everything I got. Nothing too crazy. Um, I do have stuff in my cabinet, in my fridge right now, and my freezer. Like, I kind of have a lot of frozen vegetables and stuff in here. So I didn't need too much stuff. So I got some paper towels. Um, I got this green mountain salsa. This is in mild. Um, and they were doing taste testing for wine, and I kind of got sucked in to buying this wine. This is um, Cabernet and... I'm not really a wine drinker, so I don't know why I bought this, but it did taste really good, and I don't know, maybe we'll have it with dinner one night or something. I got a pre-made Caesar kale salad, and then I got this cauliflower pizza. This is a margarita pizza. I haven't had these in a while, but I used to eat them a lot last year when I lived in Boston. And then I grabbed a couple things of canned tuna without salt, no salt added. I grabbed three bananas because if I get more than three, they go bad so fast with the humidity here in Florida. So it's really worthless for me to get anything more than three bananas. I can just always go back to the store. And I got some cantaloupe, which I like to eat in the morning. So I got three juices. I got a pure orange juice. And then I got two of these organic greens and ginger. These are my favorite ones from this brand. So I got just three of those. Then I got some applesauce packets these are like really good if you just have like a sweet tooth and you want a snack i like eating these um, it kind of just satisfies me for the time being i got some cheese sticks um just good source of protein like after the gym i might eat one of those and then i got these dave killer's bread plain bagels i actually love bagels i could eat like all of these in one day um and then i got some just whole foods brand cream cheese to go with that Next, I got this kind dark chocolate protein granola. Lately, I've been buying this at Whole Foods and it tastes like stale. So I'm hoping this one is fine, but I feel like I should be getting my money back because this is like not cheap. It's like six something, I think, for that bag. And then I got these Simple Mills almond flour chocolate chip cookies, just a little healthy-ish dessert. I got these Go Macro Bars, which I grab every time I'm at the grocery store. And I also got it in this kid's mini bar, which I thought was like, cute because sometimes i don't want the whole bar so when i saw these and they have a different flavor i thought that i would grab those um i got my favorite nut pods almond and coconut milk creamer this is the french vanilla one and lastly i got milk almond milk this one is the vanilla unsweetened so this is my favorite almond milk if you look at the ingredients on your almond milk you might realize there's a lot more in there than just almonds these milk ones don't have all those extra ingredients that a lot of the other ones do so yeah, that's why I prefer this brand, even though it is a bit more pricey. But that's everything that I got for this little grocery haul.